If any preacher ever tells you, if you come to Jesus, all your problems will go away and you will live a life that's carefree, problem free, he's tripping out <laughs> big time or any Christian tells you that. You know, people sometimes don't know how to discern the trial they are in. Now, this doesn't encompass the entire Christian experience, guys. You can ask Brother Job. Should Brother Job have got a job? It's spelled J-O-B, isn't it? He had a job. He was a righteous man. The devil said, hey, check this out. Lower the hedge. He's only serving you because of what you do for him and not because of who you are to him. So on Monday, May 1st at 9 p.m. East Coast on YouTube, I'm going to do the best by the grace of God to express and impart the reason why we do, do go through these sufferings, these storms, these perplexities. Now, let me say this out of the gate. You need to discern whether it's the Lord tweaking you, aligning you like a, like a spiritual chiropractor. What do chiropractors do? They tweak and align people's backs if they're crooked so they could become straight. So if there are things in our life that are not straight that need to be aligned or realigned, the Lord can and does that. Now, let me say this now. There is warfare. Warfare is no joke. It's real. It doesn't happen all the time. But there are seasons we can and we do go through. As believers, where we can undergo spiritual warfare, that's why it's important always naturally to dress for success in the battle, the whole armor of God. But anyway, May 1st, 9 p.m. East Coast, New York, I'm going to share on many of these different, uh, these variables that seem to be so mysterious in God's people. People get so confused sometimes. Christians, they panic and they, they start to break out in a rash. They get nervous and they overreact. You know, to overreact is as bad as to underreact. We don't want to overreact. And let me say this. Don't give the devil more credit. He don't deserve any than he really does. Because let me say this to you. God's got your back. And if he doesn't have our back, then our problem has just started. And he, he's got our back, guys. Just know that. Forgive me. <clears throat> God's got our back. Father, we thank you. You said you have our back. How did you say it? You said you never leave us nor forsake us. You would be with us till the ends of the age. I love you guys. I'll see you May 1st, Monday at 9 p.m. Blessings.